G'day and welcome back to our Austria Hungary campaign in Hartzweim 4. So yeah, we're trying to uh, do the American invasion at the moment. The uh, other army over here got completely destroyed, which was really annoying, being our best guys. It's fine. Um, these guys will just stay here and hold the canal. Japanese can do whatever it is they're going to do. And we never actually checked on all that stuff uh, being done either. Oh, well. um, we should have some guys on the way up. These five, nearly in the port. And they'll jump on the boots, head directly to Iceland. Alright, I'm losing submarines to American planes. That's okay. These guys given some orders too to go zigzagging all over the countryside. And now we have to sort out Dutch East Indies. It's ridiculous that we have to keep updating who's actually needing to be attacked. Kind of sucks. Alright. Um, let me sort it out this whole thing. Would have been these guys. Uh, go down here and finish the job. Alright, they'll spin around. Xinjiang will be a separate war starting in two weeks. Alright. And, yeah, we got some manpower back because I changed up the Peji Divigi to build out some of these guys. Um, got rid of the things we weren't making, the anti-tank support and the uh, MGs or whatever they were that we were licensing from Germany for a while. Now, next up, bomber defense. Sure, don't really need it. All right, they've taken off for their invasion of America. No, that's them. The other guys are just transporting over. And it looks like that's going to fail. What are we up against there? Two divisions. They can't even handle that. Alright. Well, we'll leave them down there for later. Um, what we do want to do though, is make sure that these ships are somewhere useful. So we're not going to need that. We will need Northern Atlantic Ridge. You know what? We will just cancel that naval invasion. Alright, and then these five can come and help out over there. Now, we should have taken enough of this to be able to build an airbase there. Indeed. So, let's cancel... The one in Greenland. Alright, assume these guys are all coming to Canada. They are. This guy is knocking out the other stuff. This guy is going up and around. Some Americans have come up already. They're at war with basically the whole world. All right, as long as they keep spreading out. Um, these guys need to do a rush down to another port. Same as we told some other guys. Yeah, they do need to keep going that way. All right, so four there isn't the best. Um, you now we'll also knock this up. Which is down the bottom there. Alright, do them immediately, please. Do we seriously have no civilian factories? Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Now have a surplus of oil, though. So... Well, we can just do that straight out, can't we? Got plenty there. Um, still importing. No, we're not. Why do we have no civilian factories? No resources will be exported. They can't have all been destroyed, so I don't know what's going on there. 
Alright, whatever. He's going up. This guy's going to take a long time. We can't go through there. So, yeah, they're fine. Um, movement's slowed because of the horrendous supply. Which means they can get through a lot easier. We obviously can't nuke over here yet because we have no supremacy and no bombers in range either. Let's go find our bombers. Should really move everything out of here. Alright, um, oh god, what a mess. Yeah, you know, what, we'll leave them where they are. So, the bombers, which one are you? Your fighters. Rockets. Tactical bombers. Ah, uh, strap bombers, we moved over there, alright. 1,000 strap bombers. It'll take a while to finish the thing, but our nearest airbase should be hopefully Lisbon. Expect to arrive 27th, three days from now. They'll reach maybe just the Sargasso, but they're not going to be able to reach over there. Range 5,000 Ks. Coming along. Yeah, just about where I thought. Um, that would take a bit then. Alright, air wings with nothing assigned. That is them. They can... Keep nothing assigned. Well, we'll go... Take Yakin from Xinjiang. So, declare war on them. Call our allies in. And that should be hopefully an easy one. They don't get to merge the wars because they're in the common turn. They have a lot of stuff ready. Tanu have nothing. So as long as this happens quickly. All right, they're not allowed to do it from the new Mongol Empire. All right, Japan agreed to actually come in. Well, they shouldn't be able to do anything. Um, we need to head to Urumqi. And again, we're not allowed to attack through. She buys some of free state. <coughs> Could probably nuke them if we move the other guys back. All right, now I can actually do it. You guys... Go directly in, and you guys go directly in. He's almost there already. And they have two. They have five now. Alright, they're in there. Already taken Kizzle, so they've capitulated. Thank you very much. Ha! <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Why do we not get to do Tano? sucks. Uh, take all states. They've taken Tano. Why does it think that they did anything? Shouldn't have called them in. Um, reset. <laughs> They've got like all of the score for it. Um, we're not going to puppet them. I'm going to take... Nope, we're going to have to pass. Now we can do it. Nearly. Alright, end that turn. And that turn, done. So Japan got uh, them, but we got some other stuff. Now, why are you saying resistance issues? It's nothing that we're not doing the policy on. Insufficient rubber, the manpower, we're at war. Unread everything's unfulfilled import from Siam. The rubber. No, it's all coming in. Okay. So, next question. When is this? 30 days. 
July-ish. Alright, they won't move on until they've got some actual supply possibility. Some centimetric radar. Let's keep knocking them out. So, radars keep building up in the ones we were doing. And there, and there. And there for no reason. And up there. Alright. America. Why are they backing off? Where the hell are they all going now? Alright, uh, whatever. <clears throat> We've run into some problems here. We're in a green zone. Barely. Um, yeah, you need to try and punch through. You take these three cities and then nuke them for the rest. Really don't get why we have no civilian factories. Hmm. Civilian factories in use, 394. Damaged civilian factories, 244. Yeah, that seems rather unreasonable. There's a lot in the list, but the ones in our country should still be working. I mean, like these four. When, yeah. Alright. So we've got no imports. We already didn't, so I don't know why that was on. That works that out a lot better. And yeah, never actually checked if these guys are hitting anything. It's supposed to be going to New England. So they should be able to reach. Don't have to turn anything there on. Alright, whatever. How are we looking over here? They keep wanting to turn around. So they haven't been attached to that for some reason. Yeah, everybody that was on here left. Okay, um, they're buggering off somewhere else. Another few days until hopefully we can do a successful naval invasion of the Eastern Seaboard. In the meantime, he's moving out. And we are going to move these guys back to just being balanced. Otherwise, some horrible things will happen. Free France have taken over most of Western Africa. Libya and Ethiopia aren't in the war. So if we can push them out of here, we can actually just get around the desert nicely. Oh, what's going on here? So we're just failing to get in. Hmm, it's a little surprising. Just need to keep hacking away at them. Alright, so yeah, they finished in Xinjiang. Uh, the rest of this is not the Axis. They're all good, we just have to take out every allied country, basically, because they've all become major powers. Alright, now they're going to push us back. Get down there and defend. Once defended, go back to trying to do this. Two of two. Hmm. Major countries in the Allies. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. How many major countries they think they are? 
We have to take out Brazil to be able to uh, hate it. Alright, now they're moving properly. Uh, somebody needs to move all the way up. And they are succeeding in moving down. Hopefully this zone gets some support. Local 16. Versus local 2 up in these. So yeah. Getting this port should be good enough. Counter-offensive across the river. Awesome. Alright, he can stay there. It's this uh, counter-offensive thing that I'm worried about, really. We can try to do something to get past. And push them back, even just a little. Try something. Alright, the red zones are horrendous. Yeah, we can do this. Why are we succeeding at that? <clears throat> His guys are worse than ours. They've got no strength. That's good. So, have they failed the manpower test? Indeed. Um, how are the Americans doing on that front? They've got millions of manpower. But they're on all, our, all adult serve. Okay. So, manpower in the field. We've got twice as much. So we should be able to do this easily. And now that we have supply down there, we just need to retake that bit. Um, you are already pushing in. Alright, need to find an airbase. There's one there. Uh, one of these guys... Needs to come take the airbase so we can move our guys in. Although we did just finish doing some in there. Alright, over to these planes. They're going to park themselves in there. Don't have air supremacy, so we're going to need to bring some fighters over as well. Which will go down here. And what's he on? 80%. Alright. Oh, we've landed. Nice. Get into Providence straight away. We're getting into Boston too. And once that bit's done, we want to take Washington and head up this way. Okay, do that. Alright, got supplies. Not quite enough, but we've got some. Um, you will keep moving down there and go take Detroit. This guy gets the airbase in a day and ten. And now we've got free military factories and free dockyards. Uh, military factories don't care about dockyards. Can only make submarines anyway, but uh, sure. Join the other fleets. Alright, we have an airbase. Then, I guess taking a city and joining up would be a good idea. Let's go find some of our fighters. Doesn't matter which. Let's grab this lot. No, they're naval bombers. Um, fighters would be these ones. Join the Western Balkans. Yep, yeah, that's not necessary. So, they're going to do a big old flight over to St. Lawrence. And, yeah, once you arrive to the west coast. You know what? Um, when do these guys get it? They're standing by. Alright. East coast. As soon as that turns green. Nope. Well, we'll keep them on it. 
but we'll set them to anything else. I'm not going to let us do it. There. Um, low intensity is fine. I've pulled their other planes out. So, as soon as these guys are in, can't quite reach. Damn it. Really just need to poke their head in. Um, there's another airbase there. Alright, now it's green. So, let's go and nuke Washington, Philadelphia. New York's a different zone. Let's go here and here. Alright, that is a big zone. We have to keep going. Tons of nukes, so yeah, just dropping them down as quickly as we can. It's going to be the way to go. Here and here. Doing there. Reach all the way down to Florida. Alright, let's light them up. Down to 24.5. And controls 95%. Only get the base down a tiny bit more. Now, our supply is still not good enough. What is Canada down to? Should probably go and do them. Alright, uh, planes and bombers into, I guess, eastern Canada. Nuke some troops. And them. Hopefully none of them pull out. We've only got one nuke left. And we need to hold that airbase. Alright, did that drop them down? Not really. Oh, we're still cut off. Uh, not cool. They are trying to get through though. All right, well, got supplies almost sorted down here. Looking good. All right, these guys are well supplied. Just make sure that we can actually get these guys back through and then we'll be happy. But we'll take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hope to see you again soon for the fall of the United States and Canada. All right. See you later.